<clears throat> Yo guys, I Pro Magic here today, and today you might be wondering what the hell are we playing? Got the music down quite a lot. Put it back there. I'll just drop all of these. Um, yeah, you're probably wondering what the hell am I playing? I am playing a game very close to what I enjoy doing in real life. Let me just... There you go. Uh, I enjoy doing this in real life. I'm a keen, keen carp fisherman myself. Um, my biggest fish is a 23.5 pound common carp from uh, Fisher's Green Lane in London, uh, if you know where we are. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a fish fishing session and see how it goes. We're going to probably do single player. Uh, let's do a bit of freedom fishing and see how it goes. Before we do that, I want to organise my tackle box. We have tackle box number one and tackle box number two. Normally what I would do is, with fishing, um, well with this particular type of fishing there is two different types of fishing you can do. There's ledger and there is float or course fishing. Um, ledger is like where you leave your rod out with your bait, your hook, whatever you want on it for four to five hours and check it every now and again. But with floating you have um, your float which will dip, go under the water, you'll catch the fish and it can change like through various different types of fish. So what's going to happen is I normally have tackle box one as you can see on screen and my three ledger rods, my hooks and I have an adjustable uh, hitch and mu cue uh, waggler 20 which is here this green one um, which is the float that I've used and these are the specific baits but I'm going to make a float box this is just going to be for my floating uh, my float fishing and I might have a ledger rod set on this as well so when I do want to use this particular tackle box I can have one ledger out on a float rod I can play around with a float rod catch a few little fish and leave the bigger one out to catch the bigger fish for me so yeah let's do that so I've only got one rod, unless we can buy one. Not just yet. Um, but there is a lot of different choice. Like, as you see here, um, <clears throat> that's how it starts up. If you look in each corner of the square, there's course at the top left, and the bottom left is carp, top right is match, bottom right is stalking. There are several different ways of fishing. Course fishing is like catfish and float rods and bits and pieces like that different baits that are very simple very easy to use carp rods are based on ledger so you have your rods your reels your heavy light like duty lines different variants of bait which you can see here goes sweet corn eight millimeter dumbbell quarter um which is like a pellet pretty much it's about that big and it's got so much flavor compacted in this is a 12 so it's about that big and you get the, the you get the whole like view of it. This one will be an 18 mil boilie. Uh, boilies are like ping pong balls that float. Um, I have this one here, which is a sinker. Uh, but you can get, I believe, where are they? They they are. That's a pop up 15 mil pop up boilie. Basically, what that is, it will sink to the bottom of the riverbed, so it will sink to here you would have a line that follows it up to the surface to your rod the bait will lift itself up and leave the hook behind the bait up here so the fish will come past grab it and hook itself saving you the effort so right let's build our tackle box so this is going to be our float slash ledger so hmm I've got hook size 20 I want to Decent size hook. It's a shame we don't have them ones yet, the size 10. Would be nice to get a size 10, but we'll have to do with having a uh, one of you a blowback. A blowback rig is what what pretty much a boilie would do. You'd connect it to the 
end of the loop here, which you see, uh, of, of this one, uh, there you've got a blowback, which are, these are where the bait you're hooked onto, so the bait will hold there, and the fish will grab the, the uh, bait, which will normally be at the back, and the hook would be here. So they will grab that hook themselves as it goes in, it will swallow and hook on their lip, and you've caught the fish. So there, that's our basic sets really, we have two rigs and one float, that's all you need uh, for float fishing. A small one, something a bit reasonable. Okay, so we'll have the grain, we'll have both dumbbells on then we'll add artificial sweet corn which will whoops, not one, which will have our variant the two first baits which is the flow uh, the white bread crust this one whoops that that one so the blue one there and the artificial sweet corn is for like when I float and then these are two for my ledger so so we'll have another rod another beginner's reel I thought I bought some line didn't I? I could have sworn I did I oh, know them too do they have a I wonder if they have the line I normally use yeah it's about that that's the one I normally use a 20 pound 20 pound break Alright, yeah, so, let's get into just a normal fish. Let's go to the basic river, we we'll use tackle box 2, and uh, let's start. So, I've basically played this game for a few hours, um, I've not really been into it that much, because I've been filming on Euro Truck and certain stuff like that, but I've had a break, and I've sat and thought, why not, let's, let's try so normally when I fish this lake, I would start off at this this spot here, as you can see, which is very very nice. Um, let's walk over. Hmm, yeah, let's go back to my normal spot, which is here. Okay, so we'll claim it here. There we go. So there's rod one and rod. What one is this? Okay, right. Let's set up rod one as the float rod. We'll have the bread on. Then number two. I is this one got? Nope. Right. Number two, we're gonna set up as the ledger. Hmm. Let's put the tender. The, let's put the twelve mil um, one on, and we'll cast this one out. So pretty simple. It's all mouse control. Right, we'll leave you there. Now let's get number one and let's do a bit of float fishing. I don't want to go miles far because if number two does go off, um, <clears throat> the first thing I will be doing will be dropping this rod because normally on a 12 mil pellet you won't get nothing small. Um, as when you're float fishing, you can see the blue indicator on the screen just in front of the rod tip. Um, which will show for any bite indicators. Soon as anything happens, that will disappear or it will start wandering and it will start moving. Um, as soon as it starts moving, I really have to be on my A game to hit that particular strike on the fish and be able to reel it in <coughs> with no particular issue. Oh, number two's gone. <coughs> Sorry guys. Uh, if you notice in the left hand corner at the bottom, there's a little green wheel that adjusts. Um, that's the drag for the fish. Uh, which, if you don't know what that means, um, the drag is based on how quick the line can be pulled out of the reel. Oh, this fish is going away. Right, increase the drag. There we go, bringing him in. How close are you? Alright, we'll bring the net in. See what we call. 
Oh, a nice golden tench. I'm saying about five pound. Oh, one far off. Nice golden tench. Four pound. Not bad. Not bad land. Could be a bit better. Um, let's put the four mil on the eight mil. And get this one back out pretty much where we had it. There we go. Place you down. And grab hold of number one. Nothing's on number one, so we're going to change over to breadcrust. Um, which is okay, I suppose. As you can see there, that little swirl in the water. Oh, number, yep, number two's off again. God, doing well on number two today. That's why I normally have ledgers on this lake. Because I know how this lake fishes. And if you guys are wondering how I'm controlling this, it's all by mouse control, really. Um, your scroll wheel changes the drag. And uh, it's just simple mouse controls. Uh, I'll probably do a bit of an in-depth tutorial on this eventually. Need to bring him in a bit. He's about 20 yards out. Come on. Get it in. What are you? Don't run out. Don't run out. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, nice common carp. Ten pound, no five pound. Say because that was a bit smaller than the other one. Three pound, and that's a bream. Holy crap! That is the biggest bream I've seen in the world. Damn. That's a very nice fish. Right, so we'll get to about the middle, and uh, we'll leave it there because we get a lot of joy around that particular uh, spot. That's where I've cast twice, and that's where I've had a lot of luck. Right, we'll put you in close, because I'm only going for small fish on the float rod. Nothing going for four to five pounders, really. It's not small, but, it, well, it's not big, but it's not small. Smalls are like eight ounce fish, which ain't worth playing. If number two goes again, I'm going to be well surprised. Because that will be three times in under an hour in game. Which isn't too bad really. But you can get the periods of time when you're fishing. Like now where it just goes quiet. And it can be like this for an hour or so. And yes you did just see the fish jump out the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Uh, it can be like this for an hour or so in game. And you can sit there and you'll wait. And you'll wait. And you'll wait. I've had a day on here where I've sat fishing and I've cast out left all three rods out in the middle of this particular lake and nothing for about eight hours it got to about 10 12 o'clock at night and everything goes off I had three rods on the go I cast one out that one will go off and bring in another one and it just that continual re like repetitiveness um, so as we are waiting I'm going to bait up number two here is a pod rod. Um, if you can see there, it's a, like a little missile, um, which has got several holes in about that big. And it's just big enough for your bait to come out of. So we'll get you out. Right, so it's just behind it, which is good. And now it's going to release bait all the way up. There we go. Exactly how I wanted it. Number one moves in? No. Hmm, okay, right, let's let's play around with a bit more on the float rod, because I've not I've not really used the float rod a lot. Uh we'll we'll set it up just over here. Because normally when I fish this particular lake, I normally have number three set as my float rod, which would be where this one's set, and one and two further out in front. And one, two works perfectly, as you guys seen. We've been, been in less than an hour in the game, and we've already had two fish. We've had a four pound bream, no, three pound bream, two pound, three pound tench. Not too bad. Could be a little bit better. Oh, number two's off. I can hear him. Oh, release the drag. 
to train a small fish. It's proper fighting this. Come on, don't you dare break line. Seems that the they go for the bigger fish on the on like this. Normally I'd I'd be on uh, on the float rod all the time, but I can go to a particular spot on this map where I would play online with a few friends and uh, we will be able to sit there for about an hour between us all constantly in and out oh nice cop that's a common carp with the bream they are a lot of silver compared to carps they're brown uh, this is a five pound that's a small carp really five pound normally when we go f I go fishing yes I average between 10 to 12 on a normal fish but uh, oh well life life you get over it don't you right so we will get this one back out to the middle there we go reeling a bit drop the line come on drop oh, for god's sake I knew I'd done it wrong, I'm way too far up from here, that's better. Right, now, oops, you know what, yeah, we'll leave it there, we'll see how it goes, because we've baited up all around that area anyway, so it, it doesn't take long for fish to start attracting. Don't know what's going on with number one, normally I'm quite hot with, uh, oh, see, number two's off again. Second, literally. Please be a nice carp. But uh, hopefully you guys do sit and enjoy this. Like, um, as as this is a live stream, like I'm looking at the chat as well. They're telling me the guides and uh, like how to catch. But what I would normally do on a normal day's fishing, if I went to the lake which is local to me, that's in the game, uh, Saint John's Lake. I've been there a few times in real life. Come on. You will come in. I'll f fling you on the bloody bra floor if I have to. Oh, nice mirror carp. Very, very nice. You can notice the difference between a common carp and a mirror carp. The mirror carp scales along the side of the fish are about that big. On the normal fish are tiny, tiny. Um, and that's a very, very big... Well, not very, very big, but that's a decent size mirror carp. Not often you really catch mirror carps. Uh, well, I don't anyway. Um, common, ghost, and koi. Whoops, I'm definitely not having you there. Let's reset that. Um, also, if you cast, like, too much... Oh, God, that's going to land pretty much where I moved it from. So we'll leave it there. Uh, we're going to recast this. We might actually change this to a ledger, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Put you on a standard hair with some bread. Uh, carp love bread. Which I didn't know until about a week ago. That's a perfect cast. Land just before the reed. There you go. Now, I've, this is what I like about this game. I can swip and swap. If I get bored of sitting here for 40 minutes to an hour in real life. Not catching a carrot. Or not catching a cold. I can swap out to a float and you can stalk if you've never stalked a fish before um, you know when you see them jumping out the water like where I uh, one of you will I can see the swells uh, but uh, you'll see them jump out the water occasionally like that one there uh, you see them jump out the water and if you think you can catch that fish you can pick up your rod follow it round to a certain point in the lake place the bait down and let him go for it and that's what I enjoy look, look, see they're all up on the top it's not hard to catch but you need to have a particular float which will sit on the top as well as your bait being on the top or just take off everything in, in which case you're pretty much low, like how was it called float lining float lining is just basically laying your line on top of the water with the weight of your bait and it's, <coughs> it's normally not simple to catch that way because fish aren't stupid they can see the line 
and sometimes they can be a bit annoying. There's a lot of activity around me, I can hear them splashing. Hmm. Okay, do you know what guys? Right, let's close up this swim. There's all my gear. Right, where's the map? There it is. Well, I'm going to go to the normal spot in which I fish. Um, with quite a lot of new stuff, like equipment. Uh, let's have a look. I normally fish around this area up here. Which I've been to a few times. Um, if, if I was going to fish, I'd be on the very swim there that you can see. Um, which will do you know what let's have a walk around to uh, which this spot is prob probably the best spot for float fishing that I know because you're right against reeds um, and if you're up for little fish re reeds are like your best friends really look like, see the swells and everything are right up here and if you come close enough I do think you can cast uh, which is stalking like here here I like this particular swim because you've got an open canal that way and a little open play area over here uh, what one's this this is my ledger so we'll stick to you not there reset uh, also I'd recommend if you're not used to casting go on a non on like go on an online match and just play around that's what I did took me a few days a few hours to get used to it now this is where we're gonna switch up for little floats we're gonna stand not too far away from that rod oh god cast up too far from the bank there you go right, reeling a bit there we go normally you would see that start bouncing insanely quick fish which I want to show you guys but looks like I'm going to shame back in this time hold yes I know when you uh, fly fish what's your name oh, I can't see it um, if you fly fish you can normally throw out a hand bait yes like that that's a carp that I would love to catch and that one but it's strange they don't normally go for floats thought that was my alarm I could hear a beeping um, also guys if you don't know um, in real life there is a bird called the mockingbird they learn the sounds of particular items when you go fishing your bite alarms which are the things your rod sits on makes a beeping noise when the wire runs through and they learn to mimic that hmm, right there where'd you go that's quite very short and see how it goes because normally like, the smaller fish don't like playing around um, they can stay right close number one's going that noise is the alarm noise that most fishermen love to hear and I, I, in, I adore that noise it's the nicest noise to hear after, a, after you're having a bad day fishing Christ, a big fish, whatever it is, because the line tension's going crazy. I'm going to have to drop it. This is where it becomes more of a fight, because they, they can run. Alright, come on. Oh, what are you? Oh, nice little baby mirror carp. Maybe three pound. Five pound, man. It's small for five pound carp. Not too bad. So, do you know what, guys? I think we might end it off here. I know it's a bit of a short video and a bit of a short stream. Um, this is just introducing you guys to the game. If you guys enjoy watching me play this fishing game and you want to see more, hit that like button and let me know what you enjoy. 
and I will probably do a little bit of a video on this um, a little bit more so we'll cancel out and leave and I'll show you a little bit you can do tournaments tournaments are brilliant uh, some of them last like 10 hours and you have to catch as many fish as you possibly can which is brilliant and even if you come last you get some XP and this one's called the big haul um, which is near in the local lake I currently fish in Ooh, Seven, saying Mr. Sir Norton Shat or whatever his name is uh, Phase Rain has just uploaded Okay, so I wanna buy some new bait. I don't want that stupid boily. I don't want nothing huge. I don't want mill ones neither. Mill ones are easy. I've got that. Blowback rig. By the way. I swear to God, I had that. It's blowback rig. Oh no, it's size 8, that one. I've got the size 12. Which is... God, where are you? One of these two. I don't know. But anyway guys, I think we're going to end it off here. Um, I've enjoyed playing this. If you guys want to see more of me playing this particular fishing game, hit me up and let me know. And I will see you in the next episode. And I hope you enjoy. Peace.